What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. In the last episode, we took down Vezra, the leader of the newly reborn Eclipse cultists. And uh, in this episode, we're going to be searching around and seeing if we can get any more hints of further factions of the Eclipse. We actually have a data point right here I didn't scan. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. Okay, uh, well, it's kind of funny because his mouth wasn't moving that during that entire thing. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but all right. Uh, it seems there's actually a cauldron nearby. We should probably check that out in due time. But what do we have here? I left word in the dawn. If the others are still alive, they'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first, which I did. Is that it? Is that all you're going to say about that, Aloy? What do we got in here? We got a safe with some stuff in it. What about in this one? Five tribes. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins, they will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vezra. He dreamed big. Well, we learned a bit about him. No. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. What did you find? Vezra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you. But if you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plainsong. I hope you make it there. And there we go. Shadow in the West is complete. All right. We got three skill points out of that. Not bad. A little extra experience, too, on our way to another skill point. I will happily take it. All right, we need to get out of here. Because like I said, there is actually a cauldron uh, somewhat near here that I would very much like to go to. Um, it's actually, it was over that way somewhere. And uh, I just got to figure out how the heck I'm actually going to get into it. So if I can, let me see, I want to mark this on my map. And it was, it was, it's not showing up on this one. Is it over... Which direction is it in? I know there was a cauldron around here somewhere. Hold on. I might be crazy. Just a second. I didn't mean to mark that real quick. But I swear you could see it from inside the room. Just a second. Let's see. Yes, over this way. Right? Is that correct? Let's see if I marked that somewhat correctly. Almost. It's a little more over here. Yeah, somewhat. Okay, we're going to see if we can get to that cauldron find out a little bit more about it because that would actually be a good thing to take care of in this episode it's actually just right around the corner isn't it um maybe i can get i'm gonna try to get in through here can i climb up through this yes probably be a lot faster to try to get in this way because the more i can take care of now the better Again, while we're still in plain song, we got a lot to do here, and to save a lot of this towards the end of the game doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, especially given the difficulty of a lot of these quests. Okay. So right about here, huh? But that begs the question, how do I get to it? It's down below somehow, isn't it? Let's see. Or is it up above? Hold on. It's definitely down below. Uh, below me somewhere. So I'm going to try to... See if I can get my bearing straight on this thing. Also, hello, long legs. I really don't want to mess with you. No, maybe I need to keep following it. Let's see. It could be all the way up that way. Okay, the map was just being a little bit silly. I was actually able to pinpoint it this time. Um, I guess it just didn't really want to tell me exactly how I'm supposed to get there, but now I've actually got a marker on it so we can get up to it. Oh, come on, Aloy. Climb up the cliff. There you go. Almost got it. 
Grab that midnight oh, bloom nice. while we're at it. Eh. Come on, all the way up. There we go. All right. We're almost there. It's actually a little bit around the mountain. So actually, I probably should go to that campfire, shouldn't I? I can kind of make my way over this way to it. And then save from there. And I missed out on that pale bloom, but oh well. Just kind of use the glider to our advantage as I scale the mountain in a very silly way. Is there a way I can get up through this? Yes, I, I can, actually. This will work out beautifully. Alright, let's see. Where is this ex this campfire at exactly? I think I went past it, but the cauldron entrance is right here. Oh, hello there. Can I land on the edge of the cliff here? Just a second. I have a plan. I do need more arrows, though. So let's get those. And then... Boom! What a shot! Oh, man, I freaking love that ability. That is great. That is going to do us a lot of good in future, I promise you. Let me craft a few more of these. Obviously, I don't want to do it too much for the sake of the amount of machine muscle I have, but let's try to break into this thing. Should be able to hack this open. All right. So this is one of the easier cauldrons in the game, but should still give us a fair amount of overrides, so we're going to want to do it. Cauldron Moo, huh? And I should probably actually set it as the active quest, level 18. Shouldn't be too bad, I would assume. Um, looks like I'm going to need to go this way. Probably, right? Is this the way it wants me to go? Yes, it is. Okay. Come on, Aloy. Up you go. And then in we follow. Alright, let's see how big this one is. Not all the cauldrons are super big. But they tend to be a little bit more involved this time than they were before. Oh my gosh, we're fine. Oh my gosh, we're fine. Oh, we're doing it again. Here we go. Aloy, this is kind of crazy. I was not expecting to be doing so much of this. Oh, hello down there, little guy. Sure. Very doable. Just a moment. That was a bad shot. Oh, that was dumb. I did not... I should not have done that. Oops. I might be in a little bit of trouble here. Hold on. Maybe I can... Maybe I can save this. That was silly. I thought I was going to be able to make that jump, and that is not evidently the case. Oh, hold on. Yes, I did save that. Holy crap. I had no business doing that. Jeez, that was funny. All right. Well, we'll take it. All right, let's go up. Oh, hold on. There is a burrower right here. Let's take him out. I think he's the only one here. Perfect. All right. Let's override this. I'm going to grab myself some medicinal bright omens as I go. I was having a few extras of those. And you remember, you want to collect as much of this as you can because you can just add them to your stash. Should you ever run low, you'll just be able to stock up the instant you get back to a stash again. So, because there's so many of them in here, it's always a good idea. So I probably can't go that way. Go around over this direction instead. Let's see. There's a door. Is there really nothing else of substance here? It seems like there is a chest down here. I'm actually going to try to open that really quickly. So I don't take any damage. Wanted to use that. Perfect. Now let's override this door and maybe this will take us to the core? I would, uh, no. Aloy, override it. Don't do power attack. Override. Thank you. And then we can make our way in. Let's see. So we got scrappers in here. Two of them to be exact. I can take care of one of them very easily. That is not the right uh, arrow. Let's get rid of one of them now. Because that is so unbelievably effective. Probably should make a few more arrows here as well. Yeah, and the thing is, is I mean, they can shoot at me from here, but they can't really get to me, which is nice. 
Shoot him in the eye, please. Thank you. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, how am exactly am I? Oh, I need to go up here. Okay, just a moment. Let me grab this first. Perfect. Okay, and now wait for one of them to come around and we'll grab onto it. It's pretty simple. You know, I'm used to those little, the little animation on those things, like, glowing as we go past, but it doesn't seem to be doing that this time. It feels like there's a little bit of animation breakage in the game right now. And I could be crazy, because we also noticed that with Vezra's data recording earlier and how he didn't move his mouth, which is odd. That's not supposed to happen, I'm pretty sure. So I wonder if, with the last update, a couple of things broke, which is very possible. Remember that game development is complicated, and while you could fix 50 things, those 50 things could also in turn break 50 other things, and you never exactly know how that works because code interacts with itself weird. And it's a little presumptuous to immediately say, oh, they just don't know what they're doing. It's like, oh, they definitely know what they're doing, but they can't catch everything. And you can only have so many bug testers, especially because... I don't know if this is uh, universally true, but I feel like in most games, uh, or with most games, they don't tend to keep on as nearly as many QA testers in the post-launch period, so it can be a lot harder to catch those sorts of things uh, in patches and whatnot. They don't have nearly as many people looking over that stuff as they do when they're shipping the game. Um, oh, I needed to I needed to shoot that out, didn't I? Oh, no, they just come out over, over periodically. That makes sense. Come on. Over. Don't let it drop you. There. All right, now we can go down. Almost got it, Aloy. Perfect. All right. So, let's go down this way. There's actually a little bit of medicinal stuff I can grab. I, ooh, do I want to go over down over here or over there? I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah. It makes the most sense. Jump the gap. Don't get messed up with uh, in the turbines or anything. That could be bad. Maybe I can use that, to get across. that would be the plan. Probably right here. Oh, oh, geez. Yeah, you think? It seems a little tricky, if I'm being honest. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Go, 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 go. Oh, I ain't going to make that. I'm going to have to wait. I mean, I, ooh, I probably could make it up onto that ledge, but we'll just hang here. Ayla, this seems like the least comfortable and the least sturdy way of staying on something like this. Oh, there we go. Just kind of balancing on two feet like that. I don't know. Like, try to grip it with your knees or something. I feel like that would just make a whole lot more sense. Um, all right, where to next? Oh, here we go. I see it. Oh, there's that down there. But then there's also a stockpile over here. No, no, no. Open it all the way. I do need those metal bones for my prototype spike thrower. And let's override this cauldron door. Hopefully this is the last one. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Something's trying to spot me here. Okay, where exactly are you at? There's that one there. There's a shell walker. Okay, that's probably the most dangerous thing in here, aside from the boss. We'll just go around very carefully here. So I'm going to try to take out that burrower if possible. Where is he? Oh, he's directly above me. Okay. This is a little bit of an interesting spot to be in. And I know that doing acid damage is the best on these guys. What are they... What is it strong against? It's strong against literally the two things I could use Tripcaster ammo on. Okay, well... That's a little bit of a problem. Here, I'm gonna do this. That was a terrible shot! Oh my gosh! Thought I was uh, around the corner. And somehow it didn't alert anything, though. You know, that gigantic explosion. So can I just, like... Shoot these? I guess they're already out? That's really strange. I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, hold on. And that burrower is just kind of hanging out there. Wait, how did you spot me? 
I'm guessing this isn't a stealthy spot at all. Well, that's unfortunate. Don't move. Oh, that probably did a lot of damage. And now, I'm going to try to shoot that claw off quickly. Tear damage. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, now, if you could be a deer and take this. Okay, I'm, I'm hitting your freaking canister. Not what I'm trying to do. Almost got gotcha. you. Oh, that's going to be a bad shot if he hits me with that. There. Okay, we got him. Sheesh. Now, I'm going to hit that arm if possible. Oh, you stupid. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't put your shield up. Oh, you piece of crap. Here, you. Stop. Oh, got you right in the face. What a shot. Followed you perfectly. Get that off. There we go. Gorgeous. And I'll also search, uh, search your crate. That's always nice to have. I think we did pretty darn good. I need to sell all of these sound shells. I just got a shell walker lightning gun, which is probably going to come in handy a little bit later. Take that. And now let's sneak our way through here. Where does this lead to? Exactly. Hmm. I'll take that. Looks like this was just kind of a roundabout way. Oh, no. It's definitely taking me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. This was just an alternative way into that room. So I, I really didn't need to actually take down that wall. I could have come through this way. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's actually really interesting. Well, good to know. I'm guessing I'm going to have to ride those things. Yep. Aloy set it for me. But how do I do it? From up here? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's override this thing. Because we got to get over to those things. Which actually takes us right back over to that arm. Interestingly. Yeah? Oh, no, no, no. That's not where I want to jump from, though. Hmm, it's just kind of a wave pack. I guess I'm just completing the circle here. But how do I get to you? That is the question. Can I, like, do this? Nope, that's not quite enough. I'm a little bit confused here. Maybe I have to jump from one of the arms? Possibly? We will see. Um, I... Th Oh, 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 I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. So I got to get all the way over there. That's going to be tricky. All right, well, we'll do our best here. Um, I kind of want to try something. It's probably ill-advised. Uh, that might not be the best idea. There you go, there you go. Could try getting to that arm below. Yeah, we should be able to, no problem. Just kind of hold forward here. Oh, there we go. Got it. All right, and now I need to... S I can make that jump. You can make that jump, Aloy, but we're in a bad... Ooh, bad position. There we go. Got it. Did not think it was going to need me to go to the back of the arm there. Okay, don't close. Don't close. Don't close. Over. Thank you. Whoa! Yeah. That's one way of putting it. All right, now we can make it to these things. And jump! Oh, man, that might have been a little early. We're fine, though. All right, just hang on. It's a bit of a ride. This was a much more involved cauldron than I was expecting it to be. They really did kind of ramp them up in this game in terms of the dungeon design, though. Which is a good thing. It's it's not that hard, Aloy. They're, you're holding on to... What is essentially a bar. You'll be fine. And we'll drop. You know, not everything needs to be so intense all the time, girl. You don't need to be acting like it's the end of the world, but all you have to do is literally let go. But let's get through here. Now, let's see. This is not the way, but it is a way, and it gave me a few nice things. I can't believe we're still not done with this. There's so much more to this. Okay, stay on this one. There we go. I can see the door. We're almost there. Got it. Then we're going to have to get to another arm. Freaking cool facility, huh? 
Oh, I need to go up. I need to go up. I'm doing this wrong. Get up there. Thank you. We're so close. Swing! Alright, now I just need to drop onto this arm at the right time. This is not the right time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let, let that one come back. As soon as it swings over. Drop! No, I missed it! <laughs> oh, man. Got it that time. All right. That wasn't so bad. I shouldn't have moved. I overcompensated and thought I was going to fall there. And luckily I didn't. I really don't like being so close to the electric death cloud, but what are you going to do? Okay. So am I going to have to jump up? Uh, oh, no. That ain't going to work. How in the world do I get over there? That is the real question. Can I go from here? There we go. We got it. Almost done with this place. And we can call it an episode. Aloy, your, your arm's jittering a little bit. Are you alright? You seem a little scared. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be as simple as just getting them. Oh, okay, okay. Easy now. You really don't need to fall here. This is it! Alright, let's try to use some advanced techniques in here with our weapons that I have not been using nearly enough in this Let's Play. Do, 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 do. Need to get a lot better about that. Okay, what do we got in here? What is that machine? I actually can't tell. Well, okay. Now I just need to access it. Yeah, um, about that. I'm going to grab a few of these. And then I'm sure we're going to get ourselves into a really fun fight here soon. So let's over this, override this. Let's see what we got. That is a, Oh, it's just a wide maw. Okay, that's not too bad. Nope, you are not. Have that. Okay, so there's one spike. That's a pretty good start. Now, if I have no stamina left, so I'm going to... Okay, let's see. What, what, what is the thing on this? Oh, gosh. Don't be doing that, please. Wait, are there... Is there more... Sh oh, there's two of them. Okay. Hi there. Just a second. Hit you in the back there. All right. What is your weakness again? Oh, yeah. He's going to shoot the rock. Just a second. Okay. I thought I was going to get him with that, but evidently the other rock came in at the perfect time to block me. Yeah, I see that. Oh, he's going to do the thing. There it is. All right, pardon me. What is your... It's That's right, it's just water. Okay, I just need to get you with... Son of a gun! All right, go, dude, I'm, I'm actually stunlocked. I'm actually stunlocked. All right, hold on. Uh, this is... You're literally farting at me. I don't like it. Go away. Just a second. Take that. That's some good damage. Okay, and if you could not, please, I would appreciate that. Here, have this. I'll put a trap down. All right, what are you going to try to do here? Oh, geez, that was close. Can I lead you over to my trap, please? Come here, you. You guys are all the way back there. Not really accomplishing a whole lot. Here, I'm going to make a, one of these. Kind of lead your rocks away. Oh, and of course, when they both fire at me, that doesn't really help my cause. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit my trap. What the? Th How did they just freaking perfectly go around it? There we go. We freaking got him. Have now have this. There's some good damage. Uh, I don't want to hit any of those canisters. Try to see if we can do some tear damage here. There we got that. That's some good damage. Whoa, okay, hold on. Oh, one of them got knocked over. Maybe I can get in on a critical strike here if I'm quick. Nope, I'm not going to be able to get that. He, he literally pulled me away from it. Oh, my gosh, dude. These guys are, like, working together perfectly. 
It's kind of amazing right now. The tandems of their attacks is just kind of ridiculous. You can't handle them. There we go. Let's knock that off. Almost got him. Oh, oh there is the ranged attacks. Ah! Seriously, they are working together so perfectly. Quit farting. All right, we got rid of one of them. Well, there's that attack now. At least when it's only one of them, I can meter it out a little bit better. Woo! Okay, hold on. Almost got gotcha. you. Now do that attack so I can hit the boulder, or you could just move your mouth at the right... Per you know what? Hold on a second. Screw you. I'm tired of you. That was very annoying. All right, let's craft this. Seriously, I was I was really penned in there against those two. I did not think that was going to be so bad, but again, I need better weapons, man. I need access to more elements. I need access to purge water and fire more easily beyond just traps. It's part of my problem here. Okay, there we go. Cauldron complete. Um, I missed out on a purple down there. Oops. Probably should have grabbed that before I left. Yeah. Well, I, I've never seen a grazer? Are you kidding me? I guess I haven't. No. There's not a lot of grazers in this game, though, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But, uh, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. Next episode, I'm going to spend more of these skill points, get a, get a couple more good abilities, and uh, we will move on from here, see what more quests there are to finish. It's going to be great. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.